So a lot of writers use existing worlds and just implement uh, the rules and laws that they want to include within that world. An example of this is, uh, for me, I love uh, vampires. So we were talking about paranormal, but I love vampires. I think they are alluring. I think uh, they exude a certain sexuality that is just intriguing. Uh, they are represent forbidden love. Uh, they represent lust. They represent hedonistic uh, activities, uh, primal sexual activities. That's how I see vampires. So in this world that I'm going to build for this video, I have a main character, which is a, a young woman, and I'm creating this as I talk. So I have a main character, which is a teenage uh, young girl. She's about, let's say, 19 years old. She's African-American. Of course, she's beautiful. They all are. And she is rebellious and she has no regard for life or for death. Uh, she doesn't, uh, she thinks she's invincible. So she doesn't fear death or the afterworld. So this is uh, her character. And obviously she's mortal. The hero of the story is going to be a vampire. And he is centuries old and I was considering either having him be African American or having him be white. And I thought of two different directions. If he's African American, then I wanted him to be a freeman during the, um, the Civil War era. So he is a free African American uh, during that time period and he's an abolitionist. And he was uh, hung and um, through whatever my my rules of my or my laws of uh, my storytelling, as far as the evolution of vampires in this world, uh, he became a vampire. And so now he exists um, in this world uh, centuries um, upon centuries and he meets my main character and uh, he's intrigued by her because of her reckless disregard for life. He values life because he lost his. So that's one character.